What's up guys, it's your boy Plus here with another video for your face as always. And today we are in the uh, How to Clan with Plus for dummies of course. And um, right, guys we're gonna get into this and today's topic is really gonna be war preparations. So we're really gonna go in and speak about how to prep for war properly and how to get your clan ready for war and things to watch out for like watch out watch out <laughs> the things to watch out for when you are um actually going into war prep how to actually make sure that you don't have a bunch of duds and that you do actually have a better clan set up than um the other clan because again you know pretty much a lot of the victory in war is down to the matchup and if you have got a bunch of dummies going to war with you you are pretty much handicapped at that point because like I always say you need 25 good players to win any war you need 25 stable players to win any war and if you have 25 stable players then you've won that war now okay let's go into this particular war the last war that we had we kind of won this war and um, you know I'm gonna touch on CC crew later what CC crew is supposed to be and how they can help out. I mean, that's probably going to be another topic for another video because you need to know all these different things individually. You can't just have all of these things told to you in the same video because it will not stick. Today, we are going to focus on war prep. Now, a lot of people wonder how we have had so much success and how it is that we've done what we've done so far. And the simple answer is that we've, we've just had a lot of players that... You know, we've been able to filter out the bad players or the stupid players really quickly, and we've been able to give them a good kick when the time comes. Now, I'm kind of caught up at the moment with uh, a couple of our Town Hall 8s that I'm looking at right here. Uh, we've got a couple of Town Hall 8s that don't actually meet the grade. Um, we've got five Town Hall 8s, and, I mean, pretty much all five of them got three-starred. Not by Town Hall 10s or Town Hall 9s, but by Town Hall 8s. So this is not grade worthy. Now I'm going to start off by going through uh, a few of the preps that you should go through with some of your players. First thing, if you're a Town Hall 8, make sure you have a look at some of their bases and make sure you have a look at their air defenses because a Town Hall 8 with a weakened air defense is a liability in your clan. And the reason for this is because a Town Hall 8 with a with a um, with air defenses that actually don't work or like a, an air defense that is not solid it's pretty much going to cost you a war or two because the first problem that you get is let's have a look at this particular attack right here now if this is not well there you go this is a dragon attack and it's going to show the point i'm trying to make which is if you have a town hall eight and he basically doesn't put his air defenses properly this guy this guy runs in here with three heals three heals he doesn't use a rage he doesn't use lightning this is just to show you how weak the air defenses that angry dad is running right here is now angry dad has been able to get his king up to level six which means that he's had enough elixir or he's raided a little bit and he hasn't prioritized the most important thing when actually um you know using town hall eight and that's your air defenses because these are the things that will protect you when a player comes at you with his troops. You know, most of the most of the players that you'll face in um, Tunnel 8, they will normally come at you with, you know, dragon attacks. And if you are not prepped for it, like for example, if your mines are not solid or your, your defenses are weak, you will get raided and you will get raided hard. Now, this particular raid right here, um, this epitomizes the whole concept of, you know, improving your base quickly. Because the weaker your base is, the more you get, you know, served like this. This is a ridiculous, this is a ridiculous three-star. And this base is not, it's not well designed. It's not solid enough and it needs to go, you know. So I'm going to tell Angry Dad after this video that he has got to go back and sort out his base. And he's definitely going to work on his air defenses because that's important. Because you can't go into wars with five Town Hall 8s and all five of them have crappy air defenses. And they're just liabilities because... Even the Town Hall 7 could have taken out most of our Town Hall 8s, and that's disappointing. So this this wraps up to be a 3 store. so you've got to make sure you go in. Every particular ward that you have, you've got to go in and check every base that you've got. Make sure that the players that you have understand the way their bases should be. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be like, well, plus, how am I going to spend all that time going through all of these different bases? Well, simple, dude. 
if you don't spend time to go through all of the different bases that you have in your clan, well, you're not going to win wars. You know, you can't really, okay, I know, it's a lot of effort, it's a lot of time, but you're not going to win Jack if you're not going to spend time to actually go through and check and make sure everybody is on, on song. You know, like, you've got to go through and you've got to have a look. You've got to make sure that everybody knows exactly how things should be. And if you don't do that, then, hey, what the hell? Like, are you expecting other people to just know? Anyway, going back to my point here, all of these Town Hall 8s that we've currently got, they don't have the uh, necessary defenses to actually be in this clan because, like, they really need to up their, their air defenses and the base design. Now, this is a weak base design right here. You can see, like, there is not that many spaces for double giant bombs and things like that. There is one space here for a double giant bomb. So if you were coming into the space, you pretty much would be certain that you know exactly where the double giant bombs is. And that means, like, as long as you can get rid of these three defensive structures, you could definitely get to the double giant bomb easily. And you could definitely trigger it. You know, so it, it's, you know, you've got to make a, a defensive structure that actually makes sense. It can't be something that's so predictable. Now, the other thing with this base is, okay, let's have a look here. This is level six, and this is probably level five. All right, so the air defenses up here are good, but the problem is this air defense is so far away from the other air defenses, it offers no protection to these air defenses if you come at it from the top. So if you're coming at this from the top and you just drop a couple of loons down here, you know, the loons plus a rage, the first thing they're going to hit is this, and the next thing they're going to hit is this. So you're not going to get any distractions. You're not going to get any disturbances. You're going straight at this air defense. So if you zap one of these air defenses and you just drop all your dragons on the other side, this base is getting taken down, guaranteed, even with level 2 dragons. So you've got to go through. Have a good look at your Town Hall 7s. Have a good look at your Town Hall 8s. Make sure the Town Hall 8s that don't know how preps should be or don't know how to set up their base properly are. Make sure they get informed. Because we've been having a couple of different difficult wars recently. And I hadn't noticed what was going on because I'd been really busy. And currently, I, I thought, you know what? You know, just take a second, have a look. It wouldn't hurt. And I took a second, I had a look, and I was like, whoa. These guys, they're the problem. Because these are bases that really need to be taken two or three attempts, four attempts, five attempts. As you can see, you know, these are not four or five attempt bases. These are easy bases to take out. You know, and the problem with this is that once your base gets easy to take out, it means that your clan is easy to lose stars. And if your clan has stars easy to drop, then the other clan will have stars easy to get. And if that's the case, you have stars easy to lose and you could easily lose the war. So, you know, a lot of these guys have to up their base and they have to up their strategy. Because, like, it seems like a lot of players are not doing that. So once you go into your clan and you're doing your prep, make sure you check out your Town Hall 8s. Because the Town Hall 8s, or your Town Hall 7s, 8s, and 9s, these are, the, these are the places where, you know, it gets difficult against a decent clan. Because you can see in this particular war, it got difficult against the decent clan in the Town Hall 8s, and the Town Hall 9s, and the Town Hall 7s. So, you know, the uh, only base that's worthy of being called Dragon Proof or Dragon Stable is probably Samurai's base. But again, he messes up with the uh, structure of his base, and he hasn't got the uh, storages in front of his uh, air defenses, which is what you need to have. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a comparison of how the other clan actually did this properly and how we failed to do this properly. Now, here is a, a two-star on this base by the Samurai, and let's look at the uh, base design, and let's look at where the air defenses are and what's in front of the air defenses. So you can clearly see, look, here you go. This is an air defense structure here, level 6, of course, all there air defenses are level six and of course they have high hit point buildings right in front of their air, def air defenses and they have these high hit point buildings right in front of them to protect them from the dragons when they start making their way in now you can see that you can't easily get to these air defenses so you have to think about it and they've got spaces here for double giant bombs spaces here for double giant bombs spaces here for double giant bombs so it's not something you can easily just say hey i'm gonna jump in here i'm gonna hog this base you know you've got to think about it properly you've got to make a des decision smart you know and the leer on this base is not going to be easy and let's go ahead and see what samurai does and we'll 
we'll see exactly how he fails on the base and understand exactly what he did wrong. So he starts off with the hog attack and I'm pretty sure that he thinks, oh, I'm gonna lure this base out real easy and I've got everything to do by bringing the base to the corner. He's gonna drop his poison on top of this right here. Where's the poison? Okay, so he hasn't dropped the poison. He's got the poison and I don't know what he's keeping it for. Oh, there we go, finally. Okay, that was stupid. Um, so he drops the poison late, which means he loses a lot of his troops for no reason. He sends his golem in at an angle where you know pretty much there is no goddamn big bombs for him to tap, which doesn't make any sense because, you know, there's definitely going to be a big bomb in one of these two locations here. And there's the first big bomb, and pretty much I think the next one should be over there somewhere. He gets lucky and manages to, like, escape a double big bomb. I don't know how but maybe Santa Claus is, is with him or something. It's just not right. Something's weird here. Um, so he gets away with it, gets the, uh, you know, hogs in, clears out a little bit of the structures. This is pretty much a big fail. He gets lucky here with the second star because, you know, you could just tell this is, it was not designed for, it wasn't even designed for three star. This was just an attack that was made with no hope of a three star because there is no way you could three star this base with this crap if you didn't even structure it properly. Now, looking at the attack wrap up, you kind of think, well, actually, he might have actually got a three star, but it's just the poor execution that he uses when he actually sends out the hogs. He didn't, you know, if I was going to attack this base, I would probably attack from this angle with the uh, golem because you know that the golem has the chance of maybe tapping one of those double giant bombs. And once you tap a double giant bomb with a town hall eight, you are pretty set. You are like set, ready to go. Because you know that you could just drop your hogs anywhere with three heal spells. There is nothing that's going to happen. The worst that will happen is that a, a big bomb would tap them, but that's it. It won't kill them. If you've got the heal spells in front of them, it should be okay. So, you know, you could just see that, like, in the wars that we've had recently, we've struggled a little bit. We've struggled a little bit. And the struggle that we've had a little bit is just because a lot of people in this Town Hall 8 region are not actually fortified bases, they're actually weak bases, and we've lost stars to these um, Town Hall 8s on the other clan, and we've then had Town Hall 9s really tapping our Town Hall 9s and trying to get their, you know, fill with the Town Hall 9s, and that's where we've started losing wars. So, you know, what, what we've got to do at this point in any clan is go through your bases, especially the bases after Town Hall 6. Go through all of them. Make sure that players with these bases, they actually have a good base design. I've noticed already that we have a lot of Town Hall 7s, which actually is a problem because we have a lot of Town Hall 7s with weak-ass defenses. And this could be a major problem. This guy, this guy is a Town Hall 7, and he has two air defenses right here. And I think you're supposed to have three, and he doesn't have a third one. So it doesn't make you worried or concerned or confused in any way as to why exactly you know we are losing wars or why we pair up with town hall eights like loads of town hall eights we have an excessive number of town hall sevens as i'm just going through and looking right now i can see that we have a lot of town hall sevens and this is a weak town hall seven you know that's definitely shameful um again another weak town hall seven this guy should be kicked i mean he's a town hall seven with no air defenses i mean this is this is I don't know who in the stupid mind is actually letting players like this in. This is, again, another Town Hall 7 with, again, weak-ass air defenses. And, again, I'm pretty sure this is another... There we go. There, you know. And this has got to be dealt with. It's got to be dealt with quickly. It has got to be dealt with really fast because if you've got a lot of Town Hall 7s and the Town Hall 7s, they don't have the relevant air defenses, a guy who comes into this base with his Town Hall 7 or his Town Hall 6... You know, as long as you've got a dragon, you can just take out the base. Now, this is the this task right here of bringing players into the clan is actually the task that's been handled by Angry Dad at the moment. Now, one of the stupidest things about what's going down right now is that, you know, people are always saying, hey, we want just English speakers in the clan. But here's the problem. A lot of these English speakers that we've got in the clan are too stupid to realize that, hey, you shouldn't have your air defenses as weak as what it is. You know, if you're going to be a Town Hall 7, your air defense should... This is a joke. This right here, this is a joke. This guy has, you know, like a max set of walls and everything, and he went from Town Hall, you know, 6 to Town Hall 7. Okay, the first thing you should be doing is improving your air, air defenses because you're a Town Hall 7. 
and that's going to cost us wars. This guy right here, you know, where the hell is the walls? You know, there's extra walls that clearly have not been purchased from what I know, and it, it's weird. Like, he's not actually participating in improving his base. You know, of course, we have got to kick, start kicking, folks, if they're upgrading their bases and they're not actually adding the content to the war bases. This right here, this is a joke. Look at this. This is Town Hall 6 area defenses right here. And this guy's gone to Town Hall 7 and he's still got cannons and he's still got stuff that's not Town Hall 6 max. So, like, you know, watching for people who were actually upgrading their bases and not actually checking like the progression of their bases as they upgrade the base itself this could be a danger to you because you could end up having higher players that have a weaker base and that's what we've got here we've got a lot of higher players that have weaker bases so if i was coming up against a clan like this i'd be very happy because i know that there are so many easy stars to get down below this is pathetic this is pathetic this is the only, like, the, these are the only two air defenses that actually have some respect, and this is a pathetic air defense right here. And the fact that all the, you know, the storages are far away from the air defenses, that again is pathetic. You know, I mean, you should be protecting your air defenses right there. And of course, this is probably going to end up being a dragon attack of some, oh, there we go. You know, and you can just tell exactly how we're getting beat in wars, because like a lot of players are saying, hey, we're losing wars plus. And I'm thinking, well, what's going on? Well, the reason we're losing wars is we've got top Town Hall 7s with air defenses that are level 3 and only two air defenses that are level 3. Now, I've got to make an example of this douchebag because there is no way this guy can still be in the clan. I mean, I've got to kick this guy if I really, really want us to win wars. Hold on a second. Oh, he's gone already. Okay. Yeah, so we've got to take out players like this. We've got to kick these players in order to match up with decent players, because we can't match up with players like this. Let's go ahead and have a look at the ward that we're currently in, because it seems like a lot of these players are giving us problems, because, it, you know, we can't win wars if we keep on pairing up with clans that have this many Town Hall 8s. And, you know, let's go through some of this stuff. So this is your prep. Look at that. This guy is prepped and ready for Town Hall 7. You know, this guy, you're going to need a Town Hall 8 to take him out. This guy right here... You know, okay, so he is, so he's too good for anybody. Look at that. His three area defenses are level six, exactly what they should be. He's focused on that first. Again, straight up with the same thing here with the other clan, with the other base, level sixes. So you're going to have a tougher time taking out these, you know, top bases, level sixes. You know, and this is the problem that's affected our clan. You've got a lot of idiots that speak a lot of crap, but they don't realize the crap that they themselves are doing. This is, again three level sixes. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that this is what you've got to make as your first upgrade in Town Hall, in Town Hall 7. Look at this. Look at the walls. The walls are still weak. But look at the air defenses. All level six. This is the right structure. And this is what we did before. We've brought in a lot of players into this clan. And these players, they've brought in stupid behaviors into this clan. And they don't want to accept that they are the people that are making the problem, not the actual clan. You know, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to start kicking people after this war if they don't get their air defenses up. Because, you know, if you're going to clan, if you're going to run a clan, you've got to make some tough decisions, guys. You've got to decide sometimes that you've got to kick people. People aren't going to like it. But if you can't see that your air defenses are lower than the other clan's air defenses, and if you can't see that the guys that you're letting in or the guys that are being brought into the clan are not even interested in upgrading their crap, then you can't blame anybody else for losing the war. You know, so anyway, guys, look, the main thing about war prep is check out your bases. Make sure people in the clan are actually improving their bases based on the attacks that people are using as the meta of the actual war. You know, like, at the moment, the matter of any Clash of Clan war right now for Town Hall 7s and Town Hall 8s is Dragon Attack. So a lot of people who are smart, they upgrade their air defenses, and they know that they have to use their structures, the def you know, the um, storage structures, in on the side of the air defenses. These guys, I don't know what they think. They, they think this is a, like a chess game or something. They're hiding their play. I'm going to come over there. I'm going to sneak. I'm going to look at your bases when your base is ready. But, yeah, like, you can just tell, like, from 18, all of this... They've got all their air defenses really well structured. And um, we're going to need to do a lot of cleanup here. I think um, our, town hall, our town hall 
nines, Tunnel 10s, Tunnel 11s, they're all going to have to take a step down at some point to clean lower. And um, pretty much, I mean, let's have a look at some of their Tunnel 10s, see if they're actually, yeah, they're they're pretty, yep, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. That's level 2. Yeah, that, these are good, these are good bases, you see, right there, that's a good base. That's a good base right there, and uh, he's already got his uh, lab all upgraded. Yeah, so it's a good base. Um, yeah, so guys, you know, preparation day. Check out a lot of the players in your clan. Make sure you have a look and see what's going wrong, where. And, you know, from what we can see right here, we I, I think already looking at this particular video right here, I've spotted about four or five players that I think we need to kick. And I've already spotted four or five players that I think are going to be liabilities in wars. So if these four or five players do not improve their their uh, all-round base design and performance, then I am going to kick them. Because, you know, like, look, I'd rather get a Town Hall 7 that knows that he has to have a max air defense than have a Town Hall 8 with lower, ma lower air defenses than a Town Hall 7. Because then it's just causing us wars. Like, a Town Hall 8 is probably going to struggle to take out a Town Hall 7 with max air defenses. A Town Hall 7 is definitely going to struggle to take out a Town Hall 8 with max air defenses. But here's the weirdest thing. A Town Hall 7 could probably take out a Town Hall 8 with crappy air defenses. Because that's the first thing you should upgrade. Now, we're getting too top-heavy in this clan, and we need to do something about that as soon as possible. As soon as possible. So, like, it is really important that a lot of the players in the clan actually improve real quick. Anyway, guys, this has been your boy Plus. As you know, we've been doing How to Clan with Plus for Dummies. And this is preparation day. It's the things you should keep an eye out for, the things you should really look out for. And, of course, we're going to speak on CC and attack logic in a different video. Because if we go through everything in one go, the video will be at least 20 hours long. But we really are looking at... You know, defensive structures. Look at it, each base that you have, the defensive structures at each base that you have, making sure that it meets muster and that it actually is good enough for you to take to war. Because if the defensive structures in the bases that you have are not good enough for you to take to war, and you've got some idiot who puts his walls, and his walls are like perfect walls for the town hall level, again, that's stupid because that affects your clan's weight. And if the clan's weight is high and the air defenses is weak and I drop dragons in there, well, guess what? Your walls don't mean anything. Anyway, guys, this has been your boy Plus. Like this video. It's been long. It took me a lot of time to obviously make the videos. I'm sure you pretty, pretty much can appreciate. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And guys, you know, listen, we're shooting for 10 big likes. Let's get those 10 big likes nice and early so that we can go ahead and, uh, you know, look forward to the next video. Um, anyway, this has been your boy Plus. This has been a video for your face. I hope you enjoy the taste. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye.